We are just two months away from the 10 year anniversary of the September 11th terrorist attacks. The Smithsonian will hold a special commemoration on 9-11 and it will include the work of a local artist. In tonight's John Carlin's Virginia, we meet that artist and learn how his burden boat helps turn your worries to ashes. This is the burden boat, a sculpture that'll be part of the nation's 10-year remembrance of 9-11. But before you can understand how it works, you must understand the man who created it. This, this is a piece I'm really excited about. Yeah, I, that's cool. I, I was watching this one for a good four or five years. Kurt Steger's work starts with nature. What I'm finding in these pieces, there is kind of a natural uh, uh, energy in them and direction. And so this one, it's kind of rare that I turn them upside down. This is actually kind of the root end, but there's something about this whole force coming up this way. And winds up looking like this or this. And then there's this constant movement. of. The if ever an artist can say that inspiration truly comes from his surroundings, it's Kurt. He lives alone in a small trailer on a secluded mountaintop plot of land. Long ago, he decided this work could not exist with most people's daily interruptions. I made that conscious choice uh, quite a while ago it's to, uh, to forego family and, uh, and marriage and, uh, and dedicate my, my life to, to my art. So he walks the woods, watching potential pieces of his art for years at a time, leaving them if an animal claims them first. I can touch deeply into this essence of nature, I feel like that, that same essence can come through the work. This project is unfolding in two places, out here in the woods. There's no rush on this piece. This, this could easily uh, not come together until next fall. And here, inside his wood shop, which is appropriately several times larger than the trailer in which he lives. He'll eventually combine his work on the log in the woods with this one. I'll be shaping this side down as well. And then I'm going to take the center section, I'm going to cut this out. And then this, this area, I'm, I just built a, a fire pit and I'm going to burn and scorch this area uh, completely. And then I'll be putting my pegs in here and I'll be tying it back together. Scale and proportion are important parts of Kurt's work as is the personal connection he forms by using hand tools. But he finds most profound the place where nature meets the man-made part. Where the pieces come together is uh, conceptually uh, intriguing for me. I see that, that point where man and nature meet. And this is, this is my version of it. Which leads us to the burden boat. We carry these burdens sometimes for a reason and sometimes for a lifelong long time. He created the work initially to help ease the burdens and pain from the shootings at Virginia Tech. During the duration of the show I invite people to write their burdens down, place it in the boat, and, uh, and then at the end of the show we do a ceremony. Hanging over the side are burden bags filled with sawdust symbolizing some of Kurt's own burdens. He might also fill them with soil from the location of a tragedy. After the piece has been in place for several weeks, it's carried safely outside, complete with small pieces of paper upon which people have written their burdens. There is a ceremony. And at that point, I light the burdens on fire. The burdens go up in smoke. The fire breaks the strings and the burden bags drop away. The cleansing is complete. Kurt says all of his pieces are an attempt to bring healing to man's psyche. He's taken up an existence to accomplish that. I say it with a, uh, uh, with, a, with a sense of humbleness that I feel like there is a, a healing aspect when we connect with nature in a, uh, in a good way. Does it work? He's received emails from people who believe the Burden Boat Project has lifted their spirits. He says his reputation as an artist is growing as people begin to understand all the thought time, devotion, and sacrifice that go into a single creation. I'm getting the sense that what I'm uh, finding out here in the woods, mm -hmm. I really am taking out into the, uh, into the world. Mm -hmm. In Floyd County, John Carlin for the Fox 2127, 10 o'clock news.
The Bird and Boat Project will go on display in Washington next month. For more information on where you can see it and perhaps shed yourself of one of your own burdens, check out John's blog at fox2127.com.